Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this Pixel Mate and Mobile tutorial or demonstration, whatever you want to call it. A few months back, I did a video comparing Pixel Mate for Mobile and Lightroom for Mobile, and Lightroom came out on top purely because it had a masks functionality. Well, guess what? Pixel Mater is now Photo Mater, and they also have that masks functionality. So let's dive in and have a quick look. So in this demo, I think it's only fair to point out that I am using the beta version of the app, but the actual full version is available right now, and the link on how to get that is in the description below. All I'm gonna do in this demo is demonstrate the masks for you and show you how to get to them. So essentially what I wanna do first is locate the masks. I'm gonna go select my presets or tools adjustments at the top right hand side. And then I'm gonna use the three little dots at the bottom. Currently, it's not showing the adjustments. It's showing the presets along the bottom. So I'm gonna change this to show the adjustments. And now we have this nice little drop down that says image layer. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna press the little plus button top left hand side. And now this opens up another set of adjustments or masking tools that I could use. And I could do various things as you would expect. I can select the subject, select sky, select background, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, or color range. I'm not gonna go through all of these right now. I'm just gonna give you a quick demo of how awesome this new functionality is. I'm gonna select background, and you can see right off the bat, it's done quite an awesome job. If I zoom in and move around a little bit, it's done an awesome job of selecting the background and not selecting the image that I wanted at the front. Obviously, I can add or subtract from this mask in various ways. But in this instance, all I'm gonna do, and again, just as part of the demo, I'm gonna invert that mask to select the subject and not the background. The way I do that is I select the background drop down, three little dots, and then I simply select invert. And now this will change the mask to the subject and remove it from the background. Click done on that. I can go in and I can adjust the exposure of this just to make the subject pop a little bit more. If I select the comparison tool at the top, I can now look at what it was to what it is. So let's just go one further on that. What I always like to do in Lightroom, I like to use a radial gradient to select my subject and then invert that gradient and reduce the exposure of the background to make the subject pop. Go to my background, I'm gonna click the plus button again, but this time I'm gonna select a radial background. Use the anchor points at the top and the outsides just to shape this mask to how I want it. Now again, I'm gonna invert this mask because I want the background to be affected and not the, or the outside of the mask area to be affected and not the inside. I'll do this, three little dots, invert, and now what I can do, click done. Now what I can do is I can reduce the exposure so it gives me this sort of nice, vignette feel for the mask. I'm just gonna go overboard on this one just to really demonstrate what it does. I wouldn't necessarily do it this much, but I am just gonna go overboard. I'm gonna reshape or recenter the mask where I want it to be. Now I could press anywhere else on the image, the gray area outside the image, just to remove the outlines of the mask. But then what I wanna do, I want to click the drop down and go to image layer. So I'm back, click done. So I'm now back at my original image. Slide down the adjustments and just check the image, see what it looks like. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click the little check mark where I'm happy with everything at the top right hand side. Allow that to modify within my images. And now because Photometer is integrated perfectly within the iOS operating system, I can go to my app switcher and that image is waiting there for me, already edited, already ready to go, ready to shoot. So my immediate thoughts on Photometer is that this is gonna make me want to come over and use this app all the time and potentially now move away from Lightroom. Go download the app and give it a go for yourself. Take care.